Good morning. It is Monday, September 19th, 2022. It is day 19 of beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. It is roughly 80 or so days of carnivore diet. Um, had a great weekend. Um, my wife and I went to Huntsville, Alabama on Friday, and we went down to see a minor league baseball game down there. Had a great time. Such a great time. Um, Saturday, woke up, whenever we woke up, showered up, left the hotel and did a bunch of running around and then came home. Um, and then yesterday we did our customary lunch with the in-laws on Sunday and nap and then I had to cut the grass last night. Um, Friday was really, really strange though. So actually Thursday, I started feeling, you know, I was, I was constipated, which I haven't really, I've noticed that I'm really not trying to turn this into a bathroom video, but you know, it's something that carnivores talk about quite a bit. Um, constipation is not something that I've really dealt with a whole lot on this way of eating. Not going as frequently, yes, that's something that I've, that I've experienced. And um, I've actually seen some people who are like, man, I think I'm constipated. I haven't had to use the bathroom. No, it's not really that you're necessarily constipated it's that your body is absorbing literally almost everything that you're putting in your body when you're carnivore and there's just so little waste that it might seem like you know you're constipated constipated because you just don't have to go anyway i was truly constipated uh and this started on thursday so friday we get up and i had a little headache like in the back of my head and it was really strange it it, it, it didn't hurt really really bad but it was just enough to bother me to piss me off and then so I got up and I went on my run because Friday was my running day um, I alternate running and walking I do that six days a week um, I did my run did my three miles I did 10 push-ups after each mile um, and then we ordered some breakfast from the place where we order breakfast from mostly I got an omelet with um, a side of bacon well, then my stomach started hurting really bad, and I don't know if it was the food. I don't know if it was that I was already constipated. I don't really know why my stomach started hurting like it did, but it really did. So, we left to go down to Huntsville, Alabama, and I'm just feeling... And, and it would come at me in waves. It would come at me, you know, I'd feel okay, and then I, my stomach would feel awful. And, and I don't know what it was. It must have been maybe some kind of 48, 72-hour bug. I'm not really sure, but... Um, I wound up not eating anything until after we left the game. It was like 9 o'clock when we left the game. We went over to Outback Steakhouse, and I just got a big fatty ribeye. I figured, well, you know, if I'm able to stomach anything, it should be a big fatty ribeye. And, you know, that did the trick. But I woke up Saturday, and I was still constipated, and I was still kind of feeling, you know, gross in my stomach. So, you know, we did a bunch of running around, did some shopping, bought some things, and started heading home, and my wife wanted some fudge. And so we were looking around for a couple of places where she could get some fudge and who'd have known Huntsville, Alabama isn't the fudge capital of the world. So um, fudge isn't really that easy to come by out there. So, but my wife found a Russell Stover store, which was in the next town over from Huntsville. And then, so I said, you know what? We'll just drive over there get you some fudge. Uh, it's gonna put us out right next to the interstate. We can just head north right from there. And so we did, and I was walking around in there, and I said, hmm, I think I know what's gonna, what's gonna make me feel a little bit better. So I bought some candy. I said, okay, I'm gonna do a controlled cheat. And what I did was I bought a dark chocolate, sea salt and caramel bar, sugar-free, flavored with stevia, and then also some, uh, a couple of little peanut butter cups that were uh, also flavored with stevia. I said, if this doesn't get anything moving down low, nothing's going to. Um, and I'm going to have to come up with another plan. Uh, well, you know, I ate those things. And sure enough, within the hour, it did have things moving. Uh, and it had things moving for the rest of the day. Um, I don't. I'm not really proud of the fact that I had to do that in order to get that result, but uh, I am am glad that I did it. Uh, so yes, I cheated on my diet, on my way of eating 
on Saturday and it was very necessary and I would do it again because I got some fantastic results. I'm talking about the rest of the day I was going to the bathroom. Um, so it cleared me out pretty good there. Um, and then, you know, Sunday we would go and have lunch with the in-laws, big fatty ribeye for dinner and everything's back on track. Uh, so in all honesty, I'm still feeling a little gross. Um, I'm sure that's probably just residual from the candy bar, but um, I do feel a lot better than what I did and I really needed to use the bathroom there. Anyway, so not to make this a big long bathroom video or anything, but yeah, in order to use the bathroom, I ate a candy bar and a couple of little pe uh, peanut butter cups, so I don't feel bad about it. Um, and then now it's, you know, plugging away on the beef, bacon, butter, and eggs for the rest of the month. So anyway, that's it. Um, I don't really have anything else going on. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I'm still doing my element electrolytes once a day. And I think I'm really starting to feel um, a noticeable difference just from those little bit of added electrolytes, getting a little bit more energy. Um, so uh, it's, I, I think I'm on a pretty nice little groove here. Um, I've got a kind of a weird week at work coming up. I've got a couple of meetings in the mornings on Tuesday and Wednesday that I have to be there early for. I may not be able to do my running in the mornings, so I'll have to do it in the afternoons, which is gonna suck because summer decided to come back this week and today's gonna be 92, tomorrow's gonna be 95, and then Wednesday's gonna be 97. So I'm not sure exactly what the hell's going on with that. I'm not down with it though. Um, so if I do my exercises in the afternoons, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty warm out there. Uh, but you know, I've gotta do it. I'm not gonna make any excuses as to why I can't. Um, anyway, so I just pulled up at Publix. Uh, I'm gonna grab a steak that I'm gonna make on the grill at lunch. And then uh, it's gonna be a fantastic Monday. So hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, we'll catch you later.